We're still discussing coronavirus. All week long, we've been discussing sanitizing your hands, making sure that you're safe, but we are all guilty of touching our gadgets, whether it's your laptop, your tablet, your phone. We are always touching some form of gadgets, and it's really, really important to pay attention to sanitizing them well so that we don't pass on the virus. Sandy Satay, who's the host of Tech and Social Media Trends on the City Breakfast Show, is here with us to walk us through exactly what to do. If you have any questions for her, let us know with the hashtag Breakfast Daily and the WhatsApp line is 055058532. If you're outside Ghana, the country code is plus two three three. Good morning, Sandy. Good morning. How are you? Fine, thank you. It's been a while since I spoke to you here. Yeah, I'm it's always, always and I went cool. to the caravan as well. Yes. So. Yes. How was uh, that for you? It was good. I had a blast. Mm -hmm. Thank God it happened before the Thank God, absolutely, yeah, thank God. Now, absolutely. our gadgets, how important is it for us to pay attention to our gadgets as we're talking about yeah. coronavirus and staying safe? Hmm. You see, I think there's been research that says that the average person, I think it was conducted in America mm -hmm. some time back, that you can pick your phone up to 53 times in a day. Wow. Yes, you can do that in a day. And since it's clear that, you know, gadgets can carry the virus, oh. yes, we all need to take precaution as we are cleaning our hands, washing. I, yesterday I was telling someone that the back of my hands feels too soft now because so you've been of all it. the things that, yes. But you see, you can wash your hands all you want, but the moment you're done, you can still move to pick your phone. Mm -hmm. You can infect your hands again. Those of us who are using styluses, among other things, you might even clean your phone, but if this little man or woman here, you know, is not cleaned, it's here, you pull it out the next time. It doesn't matter what you're using, earphones, ah. okay? You are infecting the mouse or mice, okay? Mm. The majority, like if it's, if it's more than one. For your laptops, you can infect yourself by touching this thing again. Now, they're also saying that our tablets, mm. it's still the same because the tablets have displays ah. and it's all about, you know, touch screen. You are touching them. Just like the, the, the screens. And then, for me, the one that I think all of us, yes, the keyboards. Hmm. You are just infecting yourself over and over again. That's if you left it there the very first time, even after you've washed your hands, you come back to do your work. So, we're just going to talk about how we can clean, um, you know, some of these gadgets, and then we don't end up, that's if you do have the virus but even you if you don't have the virus yeah. before you even clean should we start having conversations about not sharing our gadgets with i think people? i think yes um one of the pieces of advice that came in from it has to be at t or the cdc of america when we get there I'll, I'll point out the source is you know how we take selfies and everything yeah, and then everyone that there's yeah touching. touching they have recommended that you know in addition to all of the cleaning things that we can do, we should just make sure that we are not passing our phones. You know, sometimes you like make a, a call, yes, or even you make a call, you give it to the next person to talk to, to, the, talk person. to the person. They are insisting that we go wireless. Wow. Like if, if, you, if you can afford it, you have the opportunity to own Bluetooth piece. Mm -hmm. Yes, now even just leave the phone because how many times will you be able to sanitize your hands? True. When, whenever you touch your phone, sanitize, <laughs> sanitize. It's tiring. So if you can, just go wireless. Wireless, yeah. You slot it in. And, and within our context of people always being obedient, not trying to offend people, perhaps you're at work and your boss wants to reach over and work on your laptop for you. How should you even <laughs> handle that? Like, <laughs> So I'll tell you what happened over the weekend. You know, we had visitors in my house. And, uh, you know, this person hadn't seen me in nearly 20 years. You know, my mom would say it was eight years for her. So when this person just came... Hey, small girl. <laughs> oh, hey, small girl. When you, you bra, 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 bra. I stood at the other side of my mother's compound just waving because I wasn't. So afterwards, my mother was, and I was like, listen, I met even the mayor during the Accra, um, the food bazaar, back yeah. to your village um, food bazaar. Even him, he yes. allowed for yeah. the bumping of a shoulder. Why should I, you know, create problems for myself? So let's just understand these are the times in which we're in. Okay. Yeah, I mean, one of my very good friends here at the office, my superior at work as well, I saw her and we were all like, okay, yeah, <laughs> no hugging now, no, yes. Yeah. So I think we should all just understand each other. If your boss is coming too close, you'll be like, eh, 
yes, coronavirus. You can okay. make a joke, joke out of it, of it or something. Okay. So the yes. first step is keep your gadgets to yourself. To yourself, okay. absolutely. Keep your gadgets to yourself. And if you insist on cleaning them, okay, now we have to insist. Here are some um, uh, methods that you can use. Some are coming in from Apple, okay. companies like Apple themselves, okay. because usually they will give you ways to clean so that you don't get water into the That's device. Right. But now they are adding the process of disinfecting so that it. you don't get a virus on there. Yes. And now it's not yes. a software virus. It's literally an it's actual virus. It's I not see, time to be funny, I, I, guys. I see, I see what you did there. <laughs> <laughs> it's no longer software virus. Now we're talking, yeah, hardware virus as well. Um, so we have chemicals that are tough on the coronavirus, okay. but gentle on your phones or other devices. Now they are saying that our gadgets have a coating known as... Um, oleophobic and hydrophobic coatings. What is that? Yeah, so the oleophobic one, they're saying that it repels the hand oils, ah, the smudging, okay. excessive smudging. Okay. Okay, and then we have the hydrophobic ones, which repel water. Nice. What they're saying is you can clean your phone, but if you don't use the right chemicals, you are destroying that coating on ah. the device. Because some people will try and put tissue, a bit of soap, bit of water yes. and be doing yes. that every three yes. minutes. Yes, so what they are telling us is that coating is meant to pro protect the device. Uh -huh. So if we're going to go on a cleaning spree, just do it with chemicals that will not destroy the oleophobic and hydrophobic. hydrophobic. I hope I got the, yeah. <laughs> the so word hydro is for water and oleo is for, for the, oils. the oils. Yeah, the, the things we're that We're learning like something oils. new, guys. Mm -hmm. It's important. Now, let's see what the manufacturers are saying. Apple put up a support page message okay okay um if if we can get that um apple puts up a support page message and they've put some kind of faq at the top okay. usually they don't have that okay but now it's asking is it okay to use a disinfectant on my iphone hmm. that's the question they put up there now and their answer is that using and you're looking at it on your screens now yeah okay yeah so apple usually doesn't have this message there but in these times we have it now. Is it okay to use a disinfectant on my iPhone? And what they are saying is this. Using a 70% isopropyl alcohol wipe or propyl alcohol wipe or Clorox disinfecting wipes, you may gently wipe the exterior surfaces of your iPhone. Don't use bleach. Ah. Avoid getting moisture in any openings and don't submerge your iPhone in any cleaning agents. Okay. Okay. Now the whole page breaks down the information depending on which iPhone you're and, using. Yes, you are using, and the, and the era in which it was made. Because I think protective technology improves. Yeah. So if you had an iPhone that that's like what five years old, it might maybe not. yes, it might not have that. So they've given specific information for the different um, iPhone models out there. But there are some similarities okay. in the cleaning process. So I'll just go through that. Okay. First of all, unplug all cables and turn off the device before you attempt to clean. So the first step is unplug all cables yes. and turn off the device before, before you clean. You are, yes. Why is that? Hmm. So I think we're talking electricity here. Mm -hmm. And we're talking a device still powered and working. You don't want to be dealing with liquids. Electrocute yourself as well. Yes, liquids at that point in time. So just be safe. Turn the device off, unplug all cables, and then you can start cleaning. Now they said, secondly, use a soft, slightly damp lens free cloth. For example, a lens cloth to clean the dust first. I think generally this rule also applies to our hands. Hmm. I learned, I've, I've been reading from the CDC's website, and what they say is that you, if you want to use hand sanitizer that's good but usually soap is the ultimate the ultimate yeah. and if soap you and have water. yeah soap and water yes yeah, soap and water <laughs> so, <I'm distracted. laughs> Just soap soap and ultimate, so i'm good or soap water <laughs> yes but um what they're saying is sometimes you need to get particles and other things off, off. your yeah. hands or surface before you apply the disinfecting mm. uh, um, product okay. so if you just it, it's it's ideal. Yeah. So what they're saying is clean your phone first. Maybe wipe dust off. This this is a good you yes. know get the CCTV tissue box. Tissue we box. Have them at our phone <laughs> desk. Just wipe it first. Yes, wipe. You can wipe it off. Um, um, yeah. Get get rid of the dust. And one thing I also noticed is if you have particles on your screen, and you are disinfecting, you can be 
that can be abrasive. Mm -hmm, yeah. The particles will end up damaging, so just get rid of the particles first. Okay. Now, they talked about having lens free cloth, such as the lens cloth. I think I have um, a photo of that there. I also have some here. Ah, the ones that come with your glasses. Your glasses. Okay. Some are also sold in the market okay. without me, you needing so to you buy. Have it. Yes. I don't think they are very expensive. They are not. Yeah. They are not. Some come in packets um, of three among, uh, you know, other um, other numbers. So you, you just have that and you use that to clean your device. Now, I was thinking that maybe we could use the, the kitchen, um, they call them kitchen napkins, kitchen towels, kitchen tissue, you know, the huge ones. Yeah. I have a photo of that as well, but I just took um, a few. Okay. And I brought These them here. Slightly tough. Yes. And they okay. so seem looking, like... Yeah, you're looking at it. Yeah, you can get them wet. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that, that one is yes. actually... It absorbs a bit absorbs of water. Absorbs, uh, uh, yes, a lot of... Um, some water. And it doesn't fall apart, unlike the regular These tea ones, roll yeah. and whatnot. So if whatever you are going to use to disinfect your phone um, has moisture, mm. you are better off using, first of all, the cloth, the lens cloth. Do you dispose of this once you're done? Good or question. Or do you have to reuse it all the I, time? I... To be honest, I don't want to be using my, my, my lens cloth because then I'll have to wash yeah. and I'm scared and whatnot. So In the coronavirus times, yes, do something you can throw to dis away. Dispose. Okay. So for me, I am going with this. Okay. But of course, experts are saying that this some of the brands, uh, they, are, they are quite hard. Yeah, yeah, a bit yeah. brittle. So find so a softer... Find a softer one. And once you are going to get it wet, I think it should be okay. fine. Okay. Because I'd rather do that than reinfect myself with, with, with a one. lens okay. cloth and then they also said you know while you have your tools assembled and you are going to use your chemicals just make sure you are not using window cleaners household cleaners um, aerosol spray solvents ammonia or abrasives to clean so your that eyes. means in our environment yeah things like and i'm not being specific like the powder that the we used powder, to scrub the yeah, floor don't, and the bleach and all those don't, no, don't, don't do, do that, that. Okay. don't do that so now, we are going to talk about Clorox. Ah, okay. Yes, because... Which is they, a, a form of bleach. It's, it's, it's a brand of bleach. It's, it's a brand. They make bleach, but, but they, they also make, make yes disinfecting wipes. Okay. So that's the type that Apple says you can use on your iPhones. iPhones. So if we don't have Clorox in Ghana, is it okay to contact uh -huh. your pharmacy to find a similar brand a with the same ingredients? It's same ingredients, and that's exactly okay. what I did. Because ah. Clorox... Yeah, I mean, I'm not sure I've seen Clorox in Ghana. At, at a point, people are importing them though. At okay. a point, Clorox was selling for the price of a phone, if you like, on, wow. on Amazon. Yeah, prices wow. just shot up. I mean, I think the authorities in the States are trying to do something about people who are hoarding and whatnot. Yeah. For Ghana, I don't know what we're doing. But scientists I, in our universities can now start to yes. make products like, products Clorox, like this so that we can yes. manufacture them yes. locally. So I checked, I checked out the, the active ingredients in there. Clorox is very transparent to what goes into these wipes. Okay. I mean, I'm not going to go too uh, technical. Technical. Because we'll all get lost. Yeah. And you'll be talking to I yourself. I am also, I, I will even get lost myself. <laughs> but what, the, what I did, the favor I did to myself or for myself is that I checked out the ingredients and I just looked, went to a pharmacy mm -hmm. and, and just, I was scavenging, just seeing which product there was similar ah, to Clorox. Clorox. I mean, I'm not coming to discuss any brand here. Yeah, but we're not promoting any. Promoting any brand. But I found this one. I won't mention names, but it okay. cost me like 22 Ghana cities or so. Okay, so that's not bad. Yes, it has the active ingredient of, um, and there's a debate with this one. Um, where's this thing? Is it benzalkonium chloride? Okay. Now, what they're saying is that this one, apart from washing your hands and using 60% and above alcohol, alcohol. This comes third. Huh. But some of the formulations also have other surfactants, as they call it. Okay. That helps you step up the you're protection getting... up to alcohol level. Wow. So then you're really up. And you're you're really... really ready for corona. <laughs> <laughs> like three layers. Layers or something. Okay. And interestingly, this brand, I mean, I've known this brand, and I can say that it is not this era. That's when they printed and put this there. Yeah. They've always had the killing of salmonella, Flu virus, into brackets, human coronavirus, RSV. They've had that thing there for a Wait, while. They had coronavirus on the thing before coronavirus was a thing. Well, coronavirus. I thought we just made. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Cor coronavirus is not a recent thing. I know, it's the like... type. 
that it's a type good. that we have now. Wow. Okay. So, <laughs> so it's, it's a legit brand. It's a legit brand. Oh, okay. you can pop for yourself. <laughs> you can look at it for yourself. Yeah, I see. Yeah. I see. It's, it's, a, it's a good brand. brand. It's a good brand. So you can Google uh, Clop. <laughs> What's the name of the it's, brand in the U.S. again? Um, Clorox. Clorox. Look at the ingredients. Go to your local pharmacy and, and see find products the brand there. that are similar. But I have, at the end of the presentation, I have um, um, a verified list Okay. Of other products you, can, you can use that are not damaging the food. You see, because it's all about brands and having some kind of knowledge about these things, I just want to be a bit careful. But yeah. what the moral of or the lesson in here is that if Clorox works and Apple is saying that yes, you are allowed yeah. to use that, then it means things that have the same ingredient as the Clorox wipes. Guys, it's not the Clorox brand, though. They make wipes. wipes. So it, don't go and use their bleach. bleach. I thought bleach. Don't my go whole and use life... their bleach. They have wipes, yeah, special wipes, the ones I showed you. And those yes. wipes are not wipes for your body. No, they no, are no, no, wipes no, no, no. for surfaces. For your surfaces. Okay. So just grab your iPhone, grab your other phones and whatnot, and just use the wipes to clean. Okay. Now, since I didn't get the wipes... And I got the, the same formula in liquid. Mm -hmm. What I'm doing now is I grab the, the, uh, the kitchen tissue cloth towel. I make it wet. Of course, I have to unlock it first. I make it wet, right? Mm -hmm. Make sure it's wet because if I don't make sure it's wet and I go there doing my own thing, I'll scratch my, my, my device. <laughs> so, yes, on my display... I just go about my business ah. disinfecting. Yeah. Should you do it to the entire Yes, the case but guys, as I didn't well. power off my phone. No. So <laughs> I've already broken it's the first okay. room. Okay, it's Allah. <laughs> We're all ready yeah. as you go. <laughs> yeah, so yes, I also saw notes like there was a notice of how some of the cases we have may not necessarily withstand the chemicals. The phones can, oh. but but look. Damage my phone, please. Yeah. Like, the case. damage the case. You I'm, can always I, please, the case. I'm all right. I just need this one alive because this yeah, one is it's kind it's of expensive. Yeah. So you can, you, can, you can remove, cleanse thoroughly. Okay. Or you can, hey, I mean, it's a case. So you, Later you, you should can, clean the entire phone, then clean the case. Yes. Then put it together. Yes, put it together. Okay. Yeah. Or put them together. Yeah, put them together. Put the on. mouse, <laughs> the, the same thing applies for, I have my magic mouse here. Okay. You just... Clean, 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 clean. Now, the, the whole process... Should you use the same tissue for all, or should you uh, dump question. as you go? People, I think you should just dump as you go. And so, uh, let's just pretend I dump this you one, just and I pick this one. Because you cleaned it before this <laughs> yes. show. You see how paranoid we want to And yes. I also have another question as you're going. Yeah. Should you wear gloves, or uh -huh. if it's your own stuff, maybe it's fine, but if you're doing it for someone for else, me, you should wear as gloves. as I've been doing in the office, I don't wear any gloves. In mm -hmm. fact, since this outbreak, I haven't done the, the gloves bit because okay. I just have feel like, okay, I put... You don't want to be gloves. AJ walking around. Yeah, AJ is walking looking around like looking like, yeah, <laughs> she just came out of Kolebo or something like that. I haven't touched any, any of the, the gloves okay. yet. Yeah. But if someone calls you to do it for their stuff, mm -hmm. which you're going to say no because they should have been learning from yeah, the, this, this by internet, now. Yeah. You should probably wear gloves yes. before you touch someone yes. else's. Yes. Okay. So, yes, summarizing... First of all, Apple is saying that you can use alcohol, that mm -hmm. the required percentage, and not the clothes. drinking alcohol. No, no, no. The actual. No, it's good you mentioned it. People yeah. are still take, taking this yeah, thing as a yeah, joke. Yeah, mm. yeah. Yo. Let's not do that. Yeah. So, so, so alcohol, seventy percent and above. CDC says even sixty and above. But of course, you can't go mm -hmm. wrong by stepping it up. Mm -hmm. And then Clorox wipes. And if you can't get the Clorox wipes. Other formulations that have the same ingredients. ingredients. Okay. And then when you are doing it, too, just make sure you clean the surface and get rid of any particles that might, um, you know, scratch. Yeah. Get rid of that first, and then you apply. Because of the questions you raised, we all know that this, you can probably be hoarding gems in there. So yeah. maybe you might want to dump these well, for yeah, now. Yeah. I stick to the kitchen cloth or kitchen towel, kitchen, towel, kitchen, kitchen tissue. Yeah. I prefer that because afterwards... I can okay. just discard it. But these look for a very soft brand. They are in town. They are not that expensive. So you can use it to clean your devices. Now, someone will ask, what has um, Samsung been saying about all of this? Because oh, yeah, Apple been has Apple. been, yes, dedicated. Well, so Samsung said that, and um, I, I read that story on, on Forbes. Mm -hmm. Samsung was saying that it was launching a service that will sanitize people's tech products for free. 
Wow. But it's only limited to 19 countries. Uh -huh. Now, the technology is using UV lights instead of chemicals. You come, you just slot your phone in, and then... But yeah, to be honest, I haven't... I haven't seen it around. Yeah. Or, but even that, you go to the yeah, I'm not going to leave my shop, house and then Charlie. You go, I so think this is the safest. This is the safest, of course. And they were saying that if you your phones, your wearables. You know, I know people who have stopped wearing their smartwatches now. Someone right. in this house. Uh, well, she says that she doesn't know how she's going to sanitize this. That's so true. yeah. But I think once you have your chemicals and you are spraying and you are sanitizing you should be fine but i know someone who is now not wearing her smart watch anymore because she doesn't know is it what to safe do. to limit the number of gadgets we use daily as part of preventing you know, Jifa, i i have i've this these days is i've gotten to the point where if i really don't need anything on the phone i don't even don't. want to touch it okay. because if i would go to the supermarket down the streets buy something and come back and I, I'm, sus I'm suspicious of my phone because I went there with my phone. Yeah. Maybe you can consider leaving your phone behind. That, 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 that will also work. So okay. it's not just about disinfecting. Sometimes you are just in a situation where you have to touch. Yeah. So then best if you can leave it alone. Just and if it's about the calls, just pick your ear, um, your Bluetooth, pick without touching the phone and, and just move on. So Samsung came up with this idea that they would disinfect, but I don't know how... Um, practical that oh, they come is. to Ghana, we'll, we'll, I, yeah. I'm sure we'll, we'll yeah. take yeah. advantage of that. I don't know how that. practical that thing is. But be, before we move on, I should say that when I mention Clorox, mm -hmm. a lot of people who are familiar with the, a brand known as either Lysol or Lysol, Lysol, yeah. Lysol yeah. would be wondering, okay, what about the Lysol? Lysol well, because they also have the, they are yes. actually really known for the, the, the surface, yes, and the whatnot. surface wipes. A lot of people use Lysol yes. for that. Please, it's still all about the formulation. If okay. it contains all the chemicals I mentioned, bleach and whatnot, stay away from it. Okay. And the percentage of alcohol, too, if it is straight too high, you are also going to risk damaging. damaging. That's why Apple just said Clorox. Okay. Or similar to Clorox. To Clorox. We, okay. we, will, we will just end it there. Now, so Samsung has... Um, how to clean their devices generally on, on, on some yeah. of their pages. I mean, for Note 8, for example, they already have a page up telling you how you can clean that device. But nice. they are also saying don't use Windex or any other window cleaning solutions. Mm. But they did not recommend maybe Clorox or anything. They are just saying don't, don't. use harsh chemicals not prescribed because yes. you may be tempted. You know, yes. Windex people use it to clean their mirrors, mirrors their and windows. everything. You might think, so you think that the same similar. thing applies. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, AT and T is a mobile um, operator. Yeah, in yes, the US. company in the US. These are some of the gener generic things they said, and I will just read them out for everyone. Keep your device clean. Spray a non-abrasive or alcohol-based um, disinfectant, and they are all talking seven seventy percent. Yeah, directly on a lint free cloth. Mm. Okay, so this cloth, but Jifa, I mean, and I totally agree with Jifa because if you infect this thing and bring it back, so please, That's maybe you it. might want to stick to the, yeah, the kitchen towels. Now, and maybe earlier, in their environment, you can get a, a, a hundreds of these for like $2 yeah, here, or something, but here yeah, they may be yeah, more expensive. Yeah. So back to the thing that, you know, the po issue you raised. They said, share things like photos through text messages instead of passing your phone around. Mm. Mm. And they are saying that since devices collect germs, avoid putting your device on public surfaces. Those, yeah. when you get to the counter of the bank, you just... And cafes, people cafes. who work from cafes. Yes. Yeah. Now, keep... Uh, to be honest, I've been carrying this Ziploc thing around. <laughs> Sometimes when I get somewhere, and instead of just throwing it, please... I just put it inside and put it there. I don't want any trouble. And don't feel any shame. No, there's exactly. no shame there's in this. There's no shame in okay, this. Okay, because if you get the virus, there's nothing. Yeah, it's funny going to be, it's going to be so, bad for you. Yeah. So don't drop it on surfaces. And feel I'll, free to walk around and even you know spray the place you need to use before you sit you, down. You, you sit down. Um, of course, public surfaces. Try and use a Bluetooth device or hands-free set. We've mentioned this. And so now these are three companies that we've heard from. Or mm. telling us how we can clean our devices. Now, there's a company also saying that they have a portable UV. You know what Samsung suggested? The UV mm. cleansing yeah, of that phones. Thing. There we have UV mobile ones that you can carry around. Wow. One company calls it phone soap. Nice. Phone soap. I have a... Yes. That is so... Yes. 
So you wow. just open it, you put your device in. But the last I checked online, yeah, they, they, they are... How much is it? If I had the Amazon one, I sent them... Mm. It's my, my eyes can't... But is reach. it only limited to your phone? It's, it's almost $80. Yeah. Ooh, but that's you, about... 400 CDs. 400 CDs. That's, that's yeah. a lot. Yeah, yeah. But also, your phone size matters. You need to know the size of your phone. Ah. Those of us who have phones that has, are tablets and, you know, we need... Yeah. You, and you it's need only to limited your to your phone, not your laptop, your no, tablets. No, no ah. laptop. So as for the okay. laptops, they need a wipe down. You need to wipe them. So perhaps if you're someone with multiple phones, yes, yes. this might be a better option than sitting down and manually yes. cleaning your phones, cleaning your every, phones. Every, every other yes. hour. Yes, yes. Now, before I give you the last item, which is the interim list of household products okay. and active ingredients for disinfection of the COVID-19 virus, let's just look at some of the things we used to clean our phones with before now and see how practical those are, because those were the things we were using before Apple and Co. started bringing in yeah. these pieces of advice. Now, um, we have these wipes. Hmm. I think those who do photography yeah. will know them, because camera... Um, lens wipes mm -hmm. that doubles as your glasses eyes. for your glasses as well, and then for your mobile phones, these are very you want to touch? <laughs> Ooh, no, 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 it's okay. You do the <laughs> <All> touching, <right. laughs> I'll do the touching. So, these wipes have been with us for a long time. I, I use them for, okay. for my glasses. My friend, uh, Loretta, Loretta, good morning, yeah, of GT Bank <laughs> Ridge Branch. Yeah, she, she gives them, gives me these all the time. Uh, yeah, I am. Um, she, she doesn't take them from the no. back. No, okay. no, she, 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 she brings them Hi, down. Loretta. Hi, Loretta. Hi, Loretta Annan. Jifa is making jokes at you. Next time, deny her access. I know. Uh, access into your bank. <laughs> she gives me these. These are oh, awesome um, okay. um, for the glasses and everything. But now, people want to know if... You can use, it use as them. A... Well, if the formulation says 70% mm -hmm. and above alcohol... You're fine. But if it doesn't, Don't. please just stick to the, 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 the Clorox or things like Clorox that okay. the phone companies are recommending. Because you see some and it's like maybe perfume, but yes. not a lot of alcohol. A lot, yes, okay. yes. I also um, saw on Instagram someone using this and talking about coronavirus as, oh, now she's wiping her stuff. And interestingly, I have the same brand. Please. Okay. This What does it do? This, oh. You know, for those of us who wear glasses. Ah, that you used to just clean yes. your glasses. Okay. This, after checking my, checking the, there's nothing on the label which says it's for disinfecting. Ah. It's just to get rid to of the oils clean. and yeah. whatnot and to keep it clean. Ah. So please, don't. I, I mean, I'm holding on to it because it's some brands. Brand. Yeah, okay. I don't want to yeah. get into trouble here. But they give us these at the eye clinics to clean our glasses, among other things. Please hmm. let it remain for your glasses, not for Corona protection. Okay. If you want to clean your glasses, it's not for, fine. It's not it's, for virus. Yes, it's not for viruses or dis disinfecting okay. stuff. And then there are some wipes which we've had. The baby wipes, <laughs> right? <laughs> in town, <laughs> yes, that we've been using. Some even say this thing about kills 99.99% of illness causing germs. Mm. You see, earlier in the outbreak, I remember tweeting about something that. The fact that you are seeing ki kills 99% of germs doesn't mean it still fits the 70% or 60% alcohol they are talking about. Yeah. It doesn't still have the chlorides and whatnot that the mm -hmm. companies are recommending. Yeah. So you might see kills 99% of the germs, but don't think you wipe your device and then you get away sure. with, with that. So just stick to what we have um, discussed. So I think we should even differentiate between body wipes mm -hmm. and surface wipes because yes. in our environment we don't have a lot of the surface yes. type of yes. Clorox yes. wipes. wipes. We have more of the body wipes. Yeah. So yeah. It, it might kill the germs in your on your body as far as your private parts or wherever it is that you are concerned. To wipe, but, but we are it's it not meant for your also your don't, don't confuse the two of using a surface wipe on your the body, body that, as okay, well. it's because it kills germs, let me use it on my skin. Yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> let's not do that. Exactly. So um, there is, um, I, I, I wanted to share an interim list of household products, active ingredients for disinfection of the COVID-19 virus. This is something that you need to just relax in your house mm -hmm. and go and read for yourself. The link <laughs> What's is, the link here? Yes, is very long. So this is what I've done. As I'm reading this thing out, 
just Google what I've said, and that will be the first thing on your Perfect. search terms. Okay. These days, I mean, Google does well, but because of the outbreak, they are pushing some of these, yes, okay. websites. And yeah. we have so them, this is, this is from the nea.gov.sg. Okay. Okay. Um, but the title of that web page, which when you key into Google, will definitely come up as Interim List of Household Products and Active Ingredients for Disinfection of COVID-19 Virus. Please feel free and go and look. Yes, just you can put this into Google search. It will bring you to this website. Excellent. Yeah, because the link was just too, I too long. And, yes, and I couldn't customize it yeah. on time. So, okay. yes, it has the whole list of products. You don't mm -hmm. have to be stuck with Clorox or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Other products that I'm sure you can find around that can help you get your devices clean. Quick, before I go, someone wanted to know, there was a question, that regular hand sanitizer. Because everybody is can using pour, hand sanitizers for, for their yes, devices. Yes, can I pour this on the device? Mm -hmm. It's about how sticky this thing will make it afterwards. Ah. And you know, the devices are, mine, for example, is water resistant, but okay. it didn't say thick gel resistant. Sure. So just make sure that you are minding these, yeah. the pots, the speakers, because if you get that in, it's not liquid. It's not going to come out so easily mm -hmm. as, yeah. So thick stuff, put it on your phone. Then the thing is, afterwards, how usable is it? Hmm. So look, the 70, 60% alcohol that Apple recommended. Let's just, yeah. Stick if we can't get the Clorox wipes, that's, that's really our that's best right. bet. Yeah. Okay. Our, and really I think our best it might bet. even be saving the, in the interest of public. We, we, we can even mention this brand since if we're in the U.S., we'll be mentioning Clorox. Clorox and, and stuff we'll be like that. Clorox all morning long. Yes, because, so because our local content. You see, because nobody has come, come out to out. say that. True, verified it locally. Verified That's it. true. At least this so one. If, pharmacy, if, if, if matter come, I will just fine. say Apple said it all. And you were doing your own. <laughs> I was doing my, your comparisons. My That's comparisons. Fine. That's, That's fine. But if not, I would have yeah. just freely just said, yeah, go so, for so it. So wrap up for us, Sandy. Mm. What are the basic steps we should do? And we are all going to go to the Apple and Samsung sites, what should yeah. we look for when we go to the pharmacies to ensure that our gadgets are clean and safe? Okay. So first of all, the 70% alcohol, or if you are going by what the CDC says, 60% and above, mm -hmm. just get that. Okay. Okay. Grab your device. Mm -hmm. You can remove the case. Make sure it is particle free. Mm -hmm. And then we, they said lint free cloth. But we are saying, what if you are hoarding gems in there? So drop that. The kitchen towels, spray into it, mm -hmm. and then, or just dab. You know how the alcohol we open. Yeah. No, I think you should do it with the cup, rather, instead of, yeah, yeah you might, transfer, you might, you might transfer something onto the bottle. Just do that. Get it wet um, or soaked, and then clean. Um, make sure you avoid the, the pots and the speakers, mm -hmm. okay? You clean that, and you should be fine mm. you can put your case back on okay. um if you don't have the alcohol and you want to go the cl clorox route mm -hmm. you can do that i mean people are buying clorox online anyway you can buy that if clorox is not working and like i said clorox is a brand they have wipes don't go and use their bleach and say yeah. yes use, use their the wipes yeah. the one I, I displayed on the tv and then if you don't have access to that i shared a list at the end of yeah. alternatives that Anything have the same use. formulation that can help or you go to the pharmacy, you just do a comparison of ingredients and pick up something that is similar. Mm -hmm. But look, if it will tire you, just 70 or 60% alcohol with your, um, your kitchen towel, just dab and clean. But remember, unplug. Yeah. Empower off oh. the phone or device. Don't forget your, um, um, your keyboards as well, because if the phones are transmitting, definitely keyboards are also... Um, um, uh, hotspots for, for these kind of infections. Mm. And I would even say maybe clean the entire thing because you still yes. have to touch yes. it to I, open I it. I clean the entire yeah. thing. So yeah. you, you can never over clean. You can never over clean. Thank you oh, so okay. much for being with us, Sandy Sotez. Thank you. Host of Tech and Social Media Trends on the City Breakfast Show. So you've heard her. The most important thing of all, keep your gadgets to yourself, okay, and clean them really, really well and spread the word. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend. We have to be each other's keepers. Now, next, we're going to talk to our friends at Clean Eat GH. They are going to walk us through what we should eat, how we should exercise, all the good things we should do. And if you're living by their branches, they're actually giving out ginger tea a little bit for, 
us to stay safe in this era of coronavirus. We hope you've enjoyed the show. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment and share with your friends. This is Breakfast Daily on City TV. Join the Breakfast Daily team Monday through Fridays from 7.30am to 10. Join us for breakfast daily only on City TV.